Hello, this is Bob Bonzar with the Yaskawa Training Department. And this is a series of videos on the Drive Wizard mobile app. Now that you've got an account, let's get connected to the Drive. Remember from our last video how we got logged in? We'll need to make sure that we're logged in before we continue here. From the main menu, select Smart Operator. Now we have a choice to use a USB cable or wirelessly over Bluetooth. At this point, we'll use the Bluetooth here, but later we will discuss using the cable. Now the Bluetooth keypad is actually optional. The part number for it is JVOP-KPLCC04MBB. It'll also say Bluetooth across the top of the keypad. We'll need to allow the Bluetooth to be enabled. You'll be prompted for a location notification. It's okay to allow it. Now it's searching for the Bluetooth keypad. To do so, I must set the parameter in the drive to grant access so we have it on the screen. So on the keypad, go to parameter number A1-12 and set it to something other than four zeros. All zeros means it's disabled. You will need to remember this number later, so please make a note of it. Keep in mind, if you are in an environment with multiple drives, you will need a unique number for each drive. Do not make them all the same. Once we see the device name, press the F2 key to display the serial number of the drive. Now we can see the drive and select it from the list. Once it has found the connection, we must enter the same four-digit code we entered in parameter A112. Now we can see that the keypad tells us it's connected. All access from this point will be done by the tablet. If you press any key on the keypad, it will disconnect from the Bluetooth. So if an alarm appears, or if you need to change a parameter, or see a monitor, this needs to be done from the software on the tablet. Another method of connecting to the drive, as we spoke about before, is using the USB connection. It uses a micro to mini USB on-the-go or OTG compatible cable. You can order that from us, or you may use the one that might have come with your cell phone. This is the cable that we're going to use in this video. There is another cable that uses the Type-C for some other phones. One end to the drive. and the other to the tablet. The convenient thing about using a USB is that the drive doesn't have to be powered up externally. You can access the parameters with the drive being off. It uses the power of the tablet device to power on the board to access the data. This is only available on Android devices. It is not available with Apple. So here I can change a parameter and you can see the drive display is off. Now you have the app, have an account, and are connected. 